Hello, this is Big Boss Rescue Chief of Humane Emergency Animal Rescue. Welcome to our series, Animal Rescue Postmortem, where we analyze the good, the bad, and the ugly of animal rescues throughout the world. Back with Volume 5, Number 18. Here we are, we've got a Asian elephant down in a well. And, uh... We're going to take a look at this. This is truly a large animal, technical large animal rescue here. And let's go ahead and... and so, <laughs> to me, it looks like a bad idea when you've got a large animal deep into a, what appears to be an old well and your solution is to put water in it. What if things don't work out and you drown it? That That's... That's, that's not going to be good for your organization, that's all I can say. But I'm going to go back for a moment, because it actually looks like here, when the uh, when it's laying sideways, that right there, if you watch footage of elephants that when they're messing around in the water, they'll do stuff like this. So I'm not so sure it's not having a good time there, at least for a moment, and just enjoying that water. Cause that's what it looks like. You might go, oh no, nah, man, this is not going to working out well. But it looks like some of the footage I've seen when they enjoying the water. Okay, so how do we get an Asian? This is an Asian elephant. It it's it can weigh between roughly four thousand to twelve thousand pounds out of this predicament here. Because obviously, if we don't get it out, it's going to die of starvation or dehydration down there. And there are several ways that we might look at this if we're looking at it from a uh, large animal technical rescue. If we have a crane available that can lift that many pounds and the straps available uh, to, the, to do that, the slings, I'm talking about lifting slings, they have to be rated for lifting heavy loads like this here and the appropriate spreader, spreader bar, could we get this elephant out with that and and I guess ultimately it comes down to is this a wild elephant or is this an elephant that somebody uses to work with every day like it's hauling things around or they whatever they do uh, when you have a working elephant um, it, and, and so it really depends on that and if the equipment's available and also you know can you get a crane in here where it's stable enough so that it doesn't, you don't lose your crane. So that's one option. And then the other option is what they're doing. I mean, this is a great idea. They're floating it up higher. That's a great idea. It seems to be working. As long as you don't kill kill the... I'm gonna, so I'm going to just keep focusing on it, re, replaying this footage like this. As long as you don't kill it, then it's a successful idea, a successful mission that's been accomplished. And uh, it's a matter of whether you have enough water to pump into here at fast enough rate that it doesn't drain out of this that will float it to the top, which it looks like they've got quite a bit of water pouring in here, and they do that successfully. I'm not sure if all of this was thrown down in there to somehow help it out, but ultimately you could just keep throwing debris down in here on one side and then another one and then and just work your way around, so like throwing large rocks down in there until there's enough rocks or sand or whatever you have available where it keeps stepping up and stepping up on it much the same way that they're looking at using water there okay and then the other option is let's pause it right there you can see that there is I don't know if the runoff caused this here or not but the other option is is to create a big ramp out of here and clearly towards the end of this footage we can see something with the bucket on it so there's some type of excavator there which could this was pretty deep but the way this is operating here is uh, with the water lifting this 
big elephant up here create a trench bef as you're flooding it or before you start flooding it and get that trench built up there so that uh, once you do flood it and it raises itself up it can get it can walk out on its own I think we I'm not sure if we have another video showing how that would, can be really successful on there or not I can't remember that one but what we do see is that once the water gets to a certain level it's able to extricate itself I mean it's collapsing the wall and sort of creating its own um, ramp itself but I think uh, I don't know if it would have saw a ramp here and recognized it as a way out or not it's just picking any location and then wherever this wall is collapsed it looks like a portion of it still hasn't collapsed in under its feet yet and so it's able to at least have have some something to put its feet on at this level here it's clearly trying to pull itself up and then here we go I mean it, it oh, I thought this was the time that it gets out the other thing they may have been able to do with this bucket is giving him up giving a give him a boost under his rump there so I've sort of given a number of of options that all should should work under these circumstances I don't know how many organizations are gonna have uh, slings that are that are rated for that kind of weight that's a lot of weight to be lifting out of there hey dodo where's where's the um where's the money at <laughs> all right so um do i have anything to add to that no i kind of work through it as we're sitting here and um my first thought would be to just dig a trench someplace I wonder if this is that ex where we saw that other opening, like that came down from, came down from the edge there and went in. This kind of looks like that. I would have been tempted to extend that. There, that elephant looks like it's having a good time there. <laughs> there comes that trunk up, get a little bit of air. All right, I offered you my options. Uh, getting down in there and putting and putting a sling on that just might not be an option at all, especially if this is a, a, a wild elephant. You're not getting you're not getting down in there. I certainly wouldn't send any of my crew down in there. My best option would be to trench trench it as deep as we can to see if it would follow that trench, and then I'm not sure I would have thought of first to fill it up with water my thoughts would be to you could take the excavated material and push it down in there around it and then if it moves around so it might form a shape if you try not to drop heavy material straight on top of that on, on top of the animal okay but if you're dropping it around the edges of, of the of this here I know this pointer is tiny but I can't change it it's changed on my computer but it turns like this as soon as I put it in front of these Facebook videos sorry this is the best I can get anyway what I'm saying is if you're dropping oh look at the snake that just came out of there <laughs> did you see that I didn't see this before there it is right there yeah <laughs> I'm surprised that didn't send people running all right so if you're dropping material down in here or around wherever this elephant is and it's actually moving around in there you should be able to keep dropping ma loose material rock sand what dirt whatever you can down in there enough to where even if it it forms sort of like a, a funnel shape as you keep filling it up it will go under that elephant's legs and feet at some point so that it might start pushing it down and build, helping you build that up I don't know I don't know what the right answer is for that every situation is going to be different I've offered my suggestions and something that tells me that this is probably a wild elephant here 
is w watch this. You can see. Let's see if you can. I, I can point it out here. Okay, you can see the elephant is getting out here. And now watch the crowd back here. There's already people over here starting to run away. And then you'll start seeing... Oh, <laughs> I'm pointing with my finger. Okay, there's a guy over here, or a couple of people that look like they're starting to run away. And you got, you'll see people back here that are already starting to clear off. There they are. See them clearing off? This tells me this is a wild elephant. And anybody who's watched uh, any elephant that, that's attacking human beings knows you better get out of Dodge because if one of these elephants gets a hold of you, it's probably not going to end well. But, okay, here's the human-animal bond demonstration again. Every, they're all excited that they got him out of there. There was a big group effort to get that elephant out of there. So that that's really cool. And uh, that's great footage. <laughs> I hope I didn't rumble on too long here, ramble on too long. It's kind of a late night at this point. You could go to our website homepage and sign up for organization news announcements, product reviews as it pertains to rescue, and then uh, video and blog notifications. It's an email list. We won't spam you with a bunch of junk. Check out our merchandise. If you can find something there, that would be cool. If not, make a suggestion. See if we can accommodate that. And then please consider making a donation. If you need to contact us, use the contact form there on the website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's free. It's absolutely free. Like the videos and share them on uh, your social media. Uh, I, these are geared towards anybody with curiosity. But then also fire rescue, animal control animal welfare workers who might respond to an incident of this nature. And then whenever you interact with our our videos over on YouTube, that helps grow the channel and support our mission. And that's really important that you do that. Don't forget to leave a comment down below there. If you have a video suggestion, make sure that you put a link in the comment section. If that doesn't work, go over to our, um, our website and contact us through the form there that you, you can reach us through. Thank you for all your love and support. We really do appreciate it. We'll see you on the next video.